Ooh, time for Mega Man 6, everybody. The final NES Mega Man. At least for a while. So, it's the year 20XX. Um, first annual, this is very important, by the way, so pay attention. The first annual robot tournament was held. This is a big deal. The most powerful robots in all the land going head to head. However, however, one of them was a Terry. And we just saw him. We just saw the Terry. Okay, whoa. Mr. X. What? Mr. X, why? I've been manipulating that fool Dr. Wiley from the beginning. That bastard. Look, look at this bastard. The, he was the real bad guy this whole time. Well, we, we better stop Mr. X. Let's get him, Mega Man. All right, we're gonna start with uh, the Terry. No, actually, actually, no, that's a bad move. Um, this is another Mega Man that's kind of hard to break into as far as the circle goes. The circle of life. Um, I'm trying to think of like which one was, um, which one has like the weakest attack pattern. I feel like Nightman is probably the easiest. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with Nightman. Now, fun fact, Nightman here was one of the two winners of a Nintendo Power Contest to design a Robot Master. Oh, cool uh, music here. I like the color palette, too. This game is very pretty. I mean, the graphics are a little bit muddy compared to the uh, last couple. Like, Mega Man 5 is very crisp. So is 4. But this one's a little bit muddy. I do like the colors. The colors actually make up for the muddiness. Let's find out if my charge shot still gets disrupted. Ooh. Looks like it does. Oh, come on. Seriously. When are you going to pop out of your damn shell? Oh, you have to shoot him. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, Nightman, winner of a contest. Um, the other winner was Windman, which is weird because Windman's kind of generic. But yeah, Nintendo Power contest winners. Windman and Nightman. Nightman's awesome. I'll admit that. Although he would have been, I knew I was going to miss that jump, that's why I say, he would have been a great opportunity to, to finally have a robot master with a sword, instead of a, a ball and chain, but, um, oh shit, no, we're okay, we're okay, whoo, we can kind of run through here, So far, not doing too good, but you know, we'll survive. Um, when you get Rush in this game, he isn't—he doesn't just like appear as a dog and you jump on him like in the air games. In this game, he actually like fuses with Mega Man. It's pretty gross, actually. Oh shit! So I mean, like, really, it's it's fucking gross. But it's very useful because uh, when you have Rush power, you can do stuff like punch through blocks or. Um, fly, kind of, you can double jump, you know, stuff like that. Um, there's two different rushes in this game, one of them is totally useless, like Rush Marine useless. Well, not quite that useless, because there's still some useful, you know, spots where you can break blocks and stuff. But, oh shit. Ooh! Yeah! Alright. We're good. Oh, sweet. It's flip top. Give me that energy tank, brah. Come on. I need an energy tank. I don't have much time. Time is of the essence today, as it usually is. Come on, flip, flip it top. Stop giving me one ups. Come on, come on, man. 
Help his brother out. Yes! Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Next up. A stormy sky. Can't tell if this guy's friendly or not. Oh shit, he's not friendly. Ah! Oh. That's okay, I just saved. I think. I think I just saved. Yeah, I just saved. We're just gonna go back to my save and just pretend nothing happened. That's what we're gonna do. Huh. I need to watch time here. What? You can't jump on those dudes? They look like platforms. What's the deal here? What kind of shoddy game design is this? Wow. So you have to just fire again right there. Oh no! No you didn't. <sighs> I need Rush Jet to get that energy tank. Damn it. Missed opportunity right there. Hopefully I made the right choice in doing this stage first. there and I can't break through it because I don't have rush power. Great. I should break out Nintendo power for this one. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. It's right over here. Hold on. Oh. Whew. I got it right here. So, let's see what we got. Um... Mega Man. Oh, here's Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy. That's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, Mega Man 6. Mega Man 6, where are you? Where are you? Mega Man 6, here we go. Man, that's some pretty sweet artwork right here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but man. Okay, so, um, yeah, I know that there are like two different bosses in um, some of these stages. You have to fight the real boss to get beat. I don't want to miss beat for the second game in a row, because if I'd gotten beat in Mega Man 5, the final boss would have been super easy. Like, you can beat the final boss without taking a hit if you have beat. As opposed to using five energy tanks, which is what I had to do. I don't want to have to, like, deal with that shit anymore. Oh, crap. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up. Nightman, you need the guts power to get to the true boss. So, I'm going to have to come back and do this stage over again. So that sucks. It really sucks. All right, so be it. Ugh. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the, the false boss just to get his weapon, you know. And I'm, I'll come back and do this stage again. Um, I guess. Yeah, I apologize for all that buzzing in the background. Somebody's doing. Uh, some kind of construction outside because that's how it is around here. Constant noise. Huh. <sighs> so far this recording is a disaster. Complete disaster. I should just cut my losses right now. Huh. <sighs> can't believe I have to do this level again. I just I hate losing progress, you know? Come on, throw your mace. Hold on. Oh! Yep, you definitely lose your charge shot when you get hit in this. Stupid, stupid design choices. Come on, 
jump. There we go. Wow. Getting creamed over here. Well, he is a pretty easy boss once you figure him out. Okay, so save. I'm gonna get this guy beaten one way or another. What I'll do is I'll just repeat the stage later. Unless I can't. That would suck. What if you can't repeat the stage? Then I can't get beat. But that means you can't do the stage first because you need guts power to get to the true boss. What? Why is this game so stupid? Seriously. <laughs> I mean, what kind seriously, what kind of design is that? It's one thing to give you give the player like, you know, you have multiple paths, you can take this path or you can take that path, you know, you have to try to guess which one's the right path. But like they have the second path locked. I can't do it unless I have uh, rush power or guts power or whatever it's called. I, I don't get that unless I beat a certain boss. So that means I can't actually. Oh god! It totally, it totally screws everything up because the whole appeal of these games is that you can pretty much do them in any order. You can, you can do the stages in any order, but in this case, it's like you're forced to do this stage after you get rush power. Like what? Oh, shit. That was supposed to be a slide. That was also supposed to be a slide. Oof. Come on, throw it again. Come on. Yeah. What an asshole. Oh shit. Come on, jump. Boom! What an easy boss. This guy is a great candidate for first out of these eight bosses. He is... He is... Easy. Just, you know. Unfortunately, you can't do that because you won't get beat. If you want to get beat, you have to do it their way. You know, the whole appeal of these games, you, you can play the stages in any order. Not this one. Nope. You gotta do it their way. <sighs> Who's weak to Night Crush? Not that it matters, because they're probably not going to let me go to the, the correct boss at the end. Night Crush. Night Crush. Night Crush. Centaur Man. Centaur Man is the, uh, the weakest. Let me just check the map in Nintendo Bar and make sure there's no fucking arbitrary block in the way that will keep me from getting to the true boss. Oh, there is! I need to have Rush Jet to get to the true boss. Well, I don't have Rush Jet! So guess what I'm not doing next? Centaur Man! What can I do? Crying out loud. Looks like I can do Flame Man stage. Hold on, let me, let me just go ahead and, and die. Get my, my lives back here. Flame Man stage does not have a true boss and a fake boss. Nor does Blizzard Man. Nor does Plaint Man. Alright. Please kill me. Thank you. Thank you, Raccoon. Mechanical Raccoon. What the hell? What the hell? Alright. Um, it would be nice if I knew who gave you Rush Jet and Rush Power. So I could just go ahead and fight them. For oh, Nintendo Power to the rescue. This is right here. Who gives what? Uh, Plant Man gives Rush Jet. Flame Man gives Rush Power. <sighs> so basically you have to do Flame Man, Blizzard Man, and Plant Man before you fight anybody else. So that's just great. So I wasted my time with Night Man. Great. Great. Let's find out if I can still go into his level though. Yes I can. Okay, so you can, you can return to the level and fight them again. Okay, great. Um, that's fine then. So what I'll do is I'll just re-beat Nightman's level um, a little later. Fuck. 
flame man. <sighs> I'm not gonna call him a Terry anymore. That's racist. Boom. Boom. Oh shit! It's like an oil slick. Well, you know, it is what it is. So in this level, you gotta be careful because these fire dudes that fly around, they drop fire into the oil pits, and then all of a sudden the oil pits turn to fire pits, and then they're deadly. You die if you fall into them. You gotta be very careful. Oh, there we go. Energy bowl. This dude's invincible. Yeah, of course he's invincible. Of course he is. Oh boy, right where I have to jump to. There we go. Oh, charge shot. There we go. Charge shot. And they're also platforms. Cool. Gotta pump that platform. Pump it. Okay, jump. Boom. Yeah, I knew there'd be a couple of you douchebags flying around. actually really easy. Should have done this one first. You know, this is what I get for not listening to Nintendo Power. Nintendo Power knows what's up. That's why they got the power and I don't. Get save. I feel like we're at a checkpoint right now. What is this guy? Right here, easy to grab. Just gonna take a bunch of hits to get it. Oh shit. Just gonna keep going. Just keep going. Just run. Just run, man. There we go. Okay. Ready, set, and jump. Boom. Okay, Flame Man. I don't remember this guy being particularly easy to beat, so. Let's save real quick. I'm at half health, so that doesn't bode too well for me. I also, I also have energy tanks, but I don't want to use those energy tanks, because, you know. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Ooh, this is actually a good fight. I, li I like this fight. He telegraphs his attacks just enough to let you dodge them. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, I'm gonna lose. I'm, I'm losing this one. It was a good fight while it lasted, though, for sure. Good fight while it lasted. Yeah, totally gonna lose this one. Oh, no, I didn't. I won. How about that? Okay, so who's next? A Blizzard. Blizzard Man is next. He's weak to the Flan Blast. Whew. One tick of energy. See that? See that shit? That is skill. That is skill. Alright, rush power. Let you break blocks. Greatest power ever. Except it's not. It's really, you know, not that great. So now I'm gonna fight a Blizzard Man. And then I'm gonna do Nightman's level again, I guess. Or Plant Man. I mean, I got Blizzard Man next, then Plant Man. Then I guess I'll repeat Nightman's level. Oh no, robotic seals. I don't wanna fight them. Open. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. This sucks. Oh, 
something up there. I wonder what it was. Let's look at Nintendo Power and find out. Um, use Rush Power to break through the cracked block in this area. Oh, it just gives you a one-up. Oh, that's fine. I don't really need a one-up that much. Huh. Continue on. Oh, Ooh, sweet. And because I have Flame Man's weapon, I can, I can get through these blocks. There we go. I also have the Night Crush for whatever that's for. Ah! Oh. Hey, pummel! Oh, Mini boss. Mini boss fights! Yeah! Turbo shots. Rush power to break these blocks, but I don't know. Wait, where is rush power? Oh, it's up, it's up top, okay. Great. Now, Rush and Mega Man Fuse! I told you it was gross. Not cool. Okay, great. <laughs> that went well. Alright, let's, um, let's try that again, shall we? I guess I can use Rush Power now. Okay, no, no, skip the animation. What is with you, game? Skip the animation. There we go. Now we gotta go back to normal because rush power sucks. Yes, one up. I'll take that at this point. So here. Man, this animation is really irritating. Yeah, I need to switch it back to slide. Boom. Oh, nice. Perfectly done. So, I'm gonna have two lives, four energy tanks. Oh my god, my cup runneth over. So we're gonna go ahead and just lose this fight on purpose. And, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, he's got the armadillo shield attack here. Oh, no, that's not, that's not cool. Um, oh, this one could be a little tough. Hmm. 
Jeez. Oh, that's not good. You don't want you don't want to do that. You do not want to do that. Oh shit. I messed up. Okay, do not use turbo shot with the, the flame cannon or whatever flame man's weapon is because it will run out of ammo like immediately. Ah! Oh, what is with you, dude? Yes! All right, so three bosses down, five to go. But really, it's six to go because I have to fight Nightman again. Oh god! All right, so I'm gonna play through Nightman's level again and uh, I'm going to spare you from having to watch something I've already done. I have to say, this whole mechanic of having two different bosses at the end of some of these levels is really dumb. Really dumb. I mean, it wouldn't be so dumb if you could reach both of them from the get-go, but you can't. So yeah, it's dumb. I'm not a fan. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. See you guys in a few minutes. Alright, we're back. I uh, replayed Nightman's level. Um, and now I have to break through this block to get to the real Nightman. You should have read Nintendo Power first because they tell you what to do. They're like, you know, skip all these levels. You gotta beat Plant Man first. You gotta beat Blizzard Man and Flame Man. I have to beat those guys, then you can go to these other levels. Because you need Rush Jet, you need Rush Power to actually get to the uh, super secret uh, real bosses in the, uh, the other four levels. Yeah, this is the real Nightman. He's not some imposter like the other one. He's not some asshole pretending to be Nightman. I'm gonna go ahead and probably lose the fight, although maybe not. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. This one just keeps jumping around. Turn the sound up a little here. Recording? Everything's recording okay? Good, good. Now, I don't think I have any weapons that he's weak against, but I guess I can use his own weapon against him. Maybe it'll reach around his shield. <laughs> reach around. Okay, here we go. Ooh. It did, like, no damage. It does go around the shield, though. Kind of. Not really, no. But yeah, it kind of does actually. Not really. Alright, we're gonna go back to the uh, regular X Buster. Man, he turns around fast. As long as you stop with that shield. I'm trying to hear that. See, if you're lucky, he'll just keep doing this over and over again. Oh! suddenly got really close. Zero lives. This is great. I'm just gonna save. Alright, Nightman. Do 
this. Yes! I actually landed a hit on him when you when you came down from a jump. I've been trying to do that this whole time. Uh, yeah! Oh, I almost got it. Come on, do that thing. There we go. Just doing the thing. Woo! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see who's next. We'll have to go back because Plant Man's next. It says that Plant Man's stage is fairly flat, but it can be deceivingly difficult. There are enemies that come at Mega Man from unconventional angles. Cool. And the one after that is Tomahawk Man. Which is my favorite level in this game. Plant man. He's a flower fancier. Huh. Yes, yeah, so let's see what they mean by the unconventional angles. Whoa. Where'd that guy come from? Well, I was gonna just like die on purpose, but now it's giving me an extra life, I don't have to do that. I believe this is the level that gives you Rush Jet. Oh, by the way, when you use Rush Power, you can't slide. And yeah, that pretty much sucks. All of the um, flip top rooms should be like that, where you can't, you know, exploit because you drop into them and then you drop out, so you can't like enter and exit until you get what you want. We should all be like that. Oh man! I did it. So, uh, Nintendo Power says about this. Jump and shoot for the eyes! Uh, okay. Nintendo Power, a lot of it's pretty self explanatory in retrospect. You know, they tell you when to jump, they tell you when to shoot. Which is pretty much all the time. Ooh. Got me there, didn't ya? Oh jeez, what is this nonsense? Mini-boss. As soon as I leave this screen, another mini-boss. I knew it! I knew it! Man. Man. Let's try that again. So if I just shoot right here, I can push him back. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Might actually use an energy tank here because I have so many of them, you know? Oh, 
Unless there's a weapon that'll do some decent damage here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how much damage it's doing. It's probably a good amount though. Yeah, look at that! Very nice. Oh man. By the way, I'd love to have my desk back so that I can just like clear off the space and have things over here that I can, you know, be referring to, but I still have not been able to return this useless computer. So that's not happening yet. Oh! That's why I saved, because these these springs are just like not cool. Not cool. I suppose I can tell you if you press jump right as you hit them. No, you don't. What? Let's try this again. Okay, so boom. Press jump as you hit them. No. You hold jump. Oh, okay, you hold jump. Well, that's a little easier. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Well, this is some bullshit. <laughs> okay, so one shot, two shots, three shots, and four shots, which is where the fun stops. One shot, two shots, three shots, and four shots. Four shots! There are four shots! Oh my god. <sighs> Should have saved this now, should I? I'm gonna regret that. I have to fight the dude again, yep. I thought that it started me after the dude, that's why I saved. Oh wait, Night Crush. Yeah, whip it out, whip out that Night Crush. I'm gonna unleash this thing on him, there we go. Very nice, no hits. If that fight were the entire level, I would have just finished it with Flawless victory. No damage. See, I'm not afraid of these things anymore. Now I know how they work. Ugh. Health ups are gone. All those, all those health ups that were in the trees, they're all gone now. Did I miss my chance? Oh, this is where I died before. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I should probably save. Should I save? Yeah, I should save. Boom! like throttle the the uh, forward button here. Jeez. 
Boom! Go, 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 go! Oh my god, this is... This is frustrating shit right here. Oh, there's like no... There's nothing good about this. As far as level design goes, there's nothing good about this. You have to just like do a maximum forward uh, motion to get across these pits. Not challenging, it's just hold down the right button and pray! That one could I? Shit. This sucks. I need more health. I need more lives. No, I have an extra life. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, everybody, just settle down. Mm. All right, here we go. First, first life. I'm gonna learn his pattern. Watch. Learn his pad. Okay. All right. He throws. He throws a shield. Okay. All right. After he jumps, he throws a shield, and that's when I jump over it and I hit. In the meantime, I just avoid him. Now we're gonna try it again with his weakness, which is the B attack. Uh, the, the the I don't know what the B stands for, but I could take a guess. All right. We're gonna unleash the. the Butt attack. I think that's what it might. It might be the butt attack. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're gonna use it on. There we go. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, ice. That's right. Blizzard man. Just a blizzard attack. Got it. Look at, look at this guy. He's jumping on my head. What is wrong with him, dude? What, what a clown. You're a clown, plant man. Look at this asshole. This is like the worst AI ever. Jesus. It's like when Nightman just like throws his mace at you over and over again. Jeez, what a clown. I need a drink. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, <coughs> this is Kraken Spiced Rum. I only drink Kraken when I have rum. So yeah, that is the Rush Jet Adapter. And now I can do the stages with um, fake bosses because you need the Rush Jet to get to some of them. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to die. So that's why that's I'm getting here. I need to just like get killed. So Tomahawk Man's level is my favorite level. I mean, seriously, look at the design on this dude. I don't know if you can see him. He's, he's very cool. I mean, that's a real robot master right there. And his stage is awesome. Look at the color scheme in this, this level. Ooh. Oh yeah, I love this level. Ooh. Clearly I'm not the fastest gunslinger. Wait, what? Did he seriously just block my shot? What? These guys take two charge hit to beat? Well, that's not cool. Oof. You guys are everywhere, aren't you? Should I try to jump over these spikes? I don't know. So whip out the rush jet, see what happens. Actually, you know what? I'll just look at Nintendo Power and see what they say. Um, ooh! If you break the uh, barrel things, you get power ups. Hold on, hold on. I gotta try this. I gotta try this. I did not know this. Did not. I played this game a couple times, three or four times. I did not know. This. Energy tank. Wow. Good well lasted. Yeah, punching things just isn't very effective. Yeah, rush power is not good. I'm sorry. Let's whip out rush jet, see how that works. 
Yeah, it's a jetpack. Basically, you hold down the jump button and do like a super high jump. Or you can jump and then you tap the jump button to like catch yourself. Like that. Pretty cool. That was a significantly easier mini boss. By the way, Rush Jet in this game is awesome. It's the best Rush Jet since Mega Man 3. And I think it's amazing. It totally makes up for Rush Power being, you know, complete ass in this game. Like, complete ass. Like, you don't understand. It's useless. Energy tank, please? No! I need an energy tank. Come on, don't, don't mess this video up for us, Flip Top. We're, we're having a good video here. Don't mess this up for us. Alright, this is the cool part right here. So let's see, I think there's an upper path. Yeah, if you use Rush Jet, you can go on the upper path. Um, okay, according to Nintendo Power, there are some special goodies. Oh wow. Okay, this stage, this stage is ridiculous. It has multiple paths through it. And you have to go on the false boss path to get the energy balancer. And then you have to backtrack and go on the correct path after that to get to the real boss. It does not make any sense, but okay. This is cool. Nice, easy section. Oh man, eight energy tanks now. I'm gonna have to start using these things soon. I don't think this game loves to do reuse mini bosses. Yeah, you can't slide with uh, Rush Jet on either, but the whole jetpack component is so cool that it really makes up for it. I don't even really like the slide in these games. I prefer the dash in the X series because it gives you like actual momentum. Um, the slide is just kind of like ducking, basically. All right, here we go. I'm just staying right on the edge here. Proto man. There he is. Gives you the energy balancer. Now, weapon energy that I collect will automatically go to my lowest uh, ammoed weapon. Good times, very good times. Now I have to backtrack and get on the other path to go to the correct boss. Here, huh? I can just like kind of soar over. There we go. Jesus. It's like the bosses, yeah, right here. Cool. So this dude is weak against plant. Wow, you see that? I just tried to jump. There we go. So this boss is weak against the plant barrier, which is the weapon of the plant man. I feel like it's gonna be hard to actually hit with this thing now because it's a barrier weapon.
Yep, it was hard to hit with. Not a problem, I can just use an energy tank. Ouch. First hit, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can just avoid that first hit and then we can give this guy a better shot. Ooh, I'm out of ammo already. I'm gonna go ahead and use that energy tank because I have eight of them. I don't think I'm going to be needing them for anything else. Okay, Rush Jet. How can you hit me when I'm way up here? Oh, shit. Aha! Watching you make my escape. This isn't working as well as I thought it would. At, at all. Shit! Alright, you know what? Again. Yep. Wow, this guy is thoroughly embarrassing me right now. What I should probably do is just take the loss and come back with full health. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why use an energy tank when you lose a life? You know, those are replenishable. Tomahawk man! Looks like the next one is Yamato. Yamato man. I believe that's the fight where Nintendo Power asks, What is a Yamato? Oh, yeah, they do actually. What's a Yamato? We don't know. More importantly, neither do the terrorists. Right, here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Yes! I, mean, I have one more shot. I got one more shot. Well, that was easy. Sheesh, I should just, should just let myself lose the first life in the first place. So we got Nightman, who I've already beaten. Here he is. Looking good. Yamato Man's also pretty cool. It's a samurai. Alright, so it looks like when I reach a fork in the road, I need to go up. To get to the true boss. every time I activate a rush power, do we? Uh -oh. Why is everything trying to kill me? Why are these why are these bees dropping stuff on me? Why can't they just be cool? Why can't they just carry whatever that is to wherever it's supposed to go and not drop it on me? Unfreaking believable.
This is where you take the upper path, I believe. to the Tomahawk Blade or whatever it's called. The, the, the T-Hawk. <sighs> Silver Tomahawk. There we go. tough. Officially Mega Man out. I just I just realized at some point while I was playing that stage, I was like, wow, why am I still doing this? Ugh. Why am I still playing these Mega Man games? I really like this music. This music being sent on that stage. Definitely my favorite track in this game, actually. So I'm back in the game. Back on board. Got some good music going. Why? 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 Why are these pelicans dropping things on me? Why can't they just let me be? to the beginning with zero lives. Great. I'm gonna take forever for these guys to kill me. Oh look a pit! Great! Yeah. Now Centaur Man gives you a flash stopper type move. Except it's it's not like a time freeze, it's just like a kind of damage everything on screen kind of move, but uh, yeah. It's kind of like the uh, gravity hold in Mega Man 5, it just, you know, screen flashes, everything gets damaged. I guess, I think it's supposed to be like a time freeze kind of thing, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work the way the time freezes in the earlier games work. Um, oh, fell for it again.
And Wind Man is weak to it, just like Gyro Man was weak to the Gravity Hold. So once again, the Air Boss is very easily defeated by the um, all-encompassing Flash move, which makes for a very uninteresting fight. You just basically use the Flash until he dies. Sense a mini boss. Nope, no mini boss. Cool. Oh, mini boss? Nope, mini boss. Whoa, this is cool. The water is uh, above me now. Upside down water. Frick! Oh, good. I start right here. That's great. Oh, jeez. Can we just not at this point? Oh, wait. I have to be on the lookout for the uh, secret boss here. Okay, so at the end, you have to fly, basically. Ha! My secret weapon. Tanks. She can't be too careful. I might need a ninth one. You never know. I'll well, make with the energy tank, brah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. right in the pit, aren't they? Anybody else want to jump down? Pretty sure I'm going to need to use the jet in just a moment, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out. Ooh, mini boss. I thought it was weird that I hadn't seen a mini boss in a while. I appreciate that the boss projectiles disappear when the boss does. It's always nice when that happens in the game. Like in the, the Souls series, when you defeat a boss and it has like a bunch of ads running around, they all kind of disappear as soon as the boss does, which is very nice. This guy is weak against the Night Crush! So really, I could have gone after this guy second, except for needing the rush jet to get to his true form. But I don't even know how stupid that game mechanic is. I mean, really, it's just, I don't know. It's not like you have to do it, but I mean, you want beat. Oh, this guy's an asshole. Great! Frozen! Just sitting here frozen. Boom! That's almost all eight bosses defeated, but not quite. A 
so I have one more. One more to defeat. I'm of course talking about Windman. And that's the final beat part, so I believe I have beat now. I missed beat last time, but this time I've got him. Yep, that's all the beat parts. Windman is the other winner of the Nintendo Power Contest. Along with Nightman. Of course, Nightman's awesome. Really cool design. Windman is just Airman with, you know, slight modifications. I can't believe he won a contest. Anyway, don't get me started. I think Nintendo Power might be rigged. Maybe I think it's rigged. The whole process is rigged. This is odd. Oh. Seriously irritating stage here. Irritating stage, irritating music, lousy boss. This is Windman. Definitely my least favorite boss in this game, my least favorite level in this game. Oh, and look at that. That was cheapness. Pure cheapness. Stupid wind turbine things. Look at that. If you jump, they send you flying upward. Flying. Unfreaking believable. Look at that. Wow. You have to just get right off the wind, uh, you know, tunnel thing as soon as you can. Just get off that wind tunnel. I was trying not to jump that time. I'm just like, I'm just going to walk onto it. Nope, can't do that. Okay. So I do have to jump. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. If you slide, if you slide right there, it's a good way to um, keep it from, from blowing you the wrong way. Okay. Um, oh, we're done. We're done with... Uh... Okay, great. Great. Excellent. We're done with secret bosses now, or true bosses and false bosses, so I don't have to worry about going the right way. I can just live in peace. Jump off of here, don't I? Ooh, but I'm already at nine tanks! Oh, what a waste. What a waste. What a pity. Man, Rush Jet is so good in this game. That's like the saving grace of Mega Man 6. Rush Jet. It is so much fun. I would say, if it weren't for Rush Jet, this game would be probably worse than Mega Man 5. It would be in the lower tier of NES Mega Man. Um, Rush Jet single-handedly saves it. I'd say 2 through 4 are the really good ones. Though, so, probably 3 and 4 are tied, you know. I appreciate 4 a lot more than I used to. Two is also excellent, but it's rough around the edges. And one is good, but very, very unpolished. Like, super rough around the edges. Oh my god. Yeah, this game and five, they, they're... I don't know. They're a big step down. They try to do too much. So all I have to do for this boss is Centaur Flash. Just flash my way to victory. Look at this guy. He even has breasts. Seriously. What's wrong with this design?
Seriously, lame, lame fight. Alright, got that out of the way. Now it's time for the Mr. X stages. As we finally confront the true evil behind Dr. White. Funny thing is, this game came out like a month before Mega Man X did. So it's like Mr. X, Mega Man X, you know. Um, a little bit of synergy there. One, two, three, four stages. Oh man. Okay, I I take back what I said about Centaur Man's level having my favorite music. This level has my favorite music in Mega Man 6. Oh god, this music absolutely continuing the tradition of first castle stages having incredible music throughout this series oh man just awesome yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this music for a minute here Should I go for that? I'm sure there's something good there, but... Nintendo Power's coverage ends at this point. Look, Merry Christmas, everyone. So yeah, look, Mega Man X. Latest Mega Man game coverage. First glimpse of it right here. First glimpse. Looks pretty awesome. Here's Mr. X. Yep, this does bring back memories, I gotta say. Oh wait, it actually tells you the weaknesses of the bosses here. Let me just check this out real quick. Alright, so... Plant barrier for the first one. Silver Tomahawk for the second, Blizzard for the third, and Flame Blast for the fourth. So Plant, Tomahawk, Blizzard, Fire. Got it. Fucking irritating. There we go. Really low on health now, though. Shit. Frick! They're all over me! So, 
What did I say before? Plant? Yes, plant. What about the plant? Barrier? This boss? That does work well, wow. Huh? Still one left. Did I win? Hmm. I won. Fortress bosses have definitely gone south in this game. Not what they used to be. Alright, get on with it, please! Oh, I only have so much time to play. We're up in space now, apparently. Yes. What the fuck? Oh, that is so lame. Alright, so avoid these yellow stripey things. Got it. Good to know. So lame. My god. Oh, just barely made it there. They're all over me! Just shaking my lives. Got one life left. I need to have that when I get to the boss so I can get my energy back. Alright, here we go. Boss time. I can try fighting the boss like this. Might as well. I have all those energy tanks. What have I got to lose? Silver Tomahawk! Silver Tomahawk! Silver Tomahawk sounds like a Street Fighter character. Silver Tomahawk! There we go. Oh shit, this, this fight sucks. I can use one energy tech, just one. Just one. The I do that, lose life. I feel like Rush Jet would be better for this fight, actually. Maybe not actually. Alright, looks so like Tomahawk's getting fine. I'm getting close if I can. Alright, this is getting irritating. There we go. <sighs> so, Blizzard for the next one. Yes, these fortress bosses are. are Definitely a step down. Oops, wrong one. I thought I had 9 energy tanks for a second there. It looked like it said 9. I was confused. It should say 8. Oh no, not this. Now I have 9. Awesome. 
I wish I could take this guy out from over here, and then I want to deal with him. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the, um, the jetpack won't save you if you're falling really, really far and fast. It just, it can't give you the momentum you need. If you're falling into a pit, it's probably not going to save you. No, I'm just going to do this. How about that? There we go. Let's keep it moving, shall we? suspect at this point. So well, avoiding the spikes, too. What I should do is just go under. It's like just get through to the boss. I don't like this multiple path thing. I mean, one of them's gonna be a dead end, right? No, I guess not. That's weird. All right, cool. This level does not seem to have an end. Alright, lives at this point are actually more of a premium than energy tank, so I'm gonna go ahead and fight with my current health. This is like a miniature Wily tank driven by one of these hard hat dudes. I believe you can use Rush Jet against this one as well. this weird tendency of um, your ammo being proportionate to the boss's health when you use a weapon that a boss is weak against in this game the ammo depletes at the same rate as their health which is it's weird it happens in Mega Man 5 as well it's like you have to hit with every shot or else you're out of ammo basically it's a little it's just a little weird all right we're gonna just ignore that Spikes are out to get me. Thank you. 
Got me again. You almost got me. Not quite. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Whew. <laughs> Close to the end now. I believe this is the final Mr. X level. And then the world will be saved again. Basically, you have to get hit because you can't freaking jump over his shots. You can't jump over his shots without bumping into him. Oh my god. A little lame fight. Alright, yeah, I'll just take the life, life loss. This, this fight is not worth an energy tank, I'm sorry. Man, Dr. Uh, or, or Mr. X. I was going to say Dr. Hex, but as far as we know, this guy isn't actually a doctor. Oh, so okay, you can jump over shots. Just gotta, like, really time it super well. Okay, great. So Mr. X is defeated. The game is concluded. Thank you for joining me, guys. It's been very fun. And uh, I will see you guys next time on my, my next... I don't even know what it's going to be, but my next video probably... Um, What? Oh! Oh, there's another castle! Wow! You could have fooled me. Well, looks like Dr. Wily's at it again, and we've got four more levels. Big surprise there. Okay. How my lives doing? Zero. Zero lives. That's okay. Now I've got a special drink that I'm going to have now that I've reached the wider levels. A celebratory drink. But I have to wait until I'm in a really safe place to do it. So far, I have yet to find a very safe place. Well, it's okay. There, got my life out of the way. Boom. Now I've got a very special drink here. It's eggnog and kraken rum. As you can see, there's a nice layer on top there. Uh, yes, this is the same kraken rum that I was enjoying before, only now it has the component of eggnog added to it. And uh, I really enjoy the layering here. It's very cool. So, let us continue.
Mm, that is good. It's definitely better than it was before. I'm not really into straight alcohol. You know what, I'm just gonna leave that energy ball. Seriously. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> When am I going to have some floor? There, there we go. I sort of have floor now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Seriously, think about how ridiculous this is. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, are we done with... No, we're not done. Wow. Alright. I'll play your game, you rogue. So here... What the hell? Look at this. So we have to do this, right? Yeah. Jeez. This is so unpleasant. Oh, jeez. I mean, seriously, you hit the jetpack, but if you're already falling, you know, good luck. Really, good luck. Oh good, boss. We're good on lives, we're good on everything. Great. So if I'm remembering right, this first boss, and by remembering I mean looking at Nintendo Power, uh, this first boss is going to be the giant brontosaurus dude. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Go out there with that dragon in uh, Mega Man 2 in terms of cool factor. Alright, that fight didn't go too well. Let's try this again. I don't know what this dude's weak against, so I'm just going to use Rush Jet. I feel like that's what I've done in the past. Rush Jet. Whew! Okay, here we go. That works, that works. Like the, the platforms explode, that's not cool. Weird, but it's very old fashioned slobber knocker here, not a whole lot of finesse. Oh. We're not, uh, not doing much damage here. Are we? It's okay, this is where the energy tanks start to come into play. I'm sure there's a weapon that works really well against this guy, I just don't know what it is. And I'd rather use the rush jet anyway, so let's just do that. Yes! I did it! 
celebratory sip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, three stages left. Three stages! And I am done with the Legacy Collection with the single exception of the challenge levels. I don't know what to call them. The challenge. Uh, the challenges. Still got a few of those to do. I will record the last few. Like the, the boss rush. That looks pretty awesome. I'll definitely record the boss rush. I might record like the last few that I have to do before that just to kind of help me get through it. This, this is just ridiculous. Oh wait, wait, hold on. If I can get these guys to drop a little health on me, that would be very good. There we go. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Not liking this at all. So, Capcom has finally figured out a way to keep me from cheesing these block rooms. Can't use Rush Jet because I have to slide. The good news is that there's a flame uh, uh, wall there that I can just kind of jump through and see what happens. Perhaps it's a shortcut. We can hope. Ooh, flame's cool. I'm not confusing that. I know what's gonna happen here. We're gonna get more of those dudes that fly out of the pits and knock you out of the air. That's what's gonna happen. As soon as I get up close to the pit, they're gonna come flying out. Watch. Huh. That's weird. That's not. So we get this asshole. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna try to go for that energy. See what else I have that can maybe defeat these guys. Alright, that does not work. We'll try um, Yamato Spear. I haven't actually used that yet, so let's try that. Oh, uh, just same, same thing. You can fire a lot of them though, that's cool. Which means you run out very fast. I believe, yes, Nightman is weak against this one, which is why I haven't used it. Hmm, Nightman is weak against, th against that, and Flame Man is weak against Wind Man's weapon. I haven't used Wind Man or Wind Man's uh, Wind Tornado either, so now you know why. However, this boss that's slowly rolling into the screen now is weak against the Wind Tornado or Wind Storm, I think. We're going to find out. Yes, he is. Wow. Uh oh. Hold on, I wanna try something. Well, that doesn't work. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna die on my own terms. See, much better. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna use Wind Tornado on him from the very get go, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the best fight ever. Watch this. Watch this. I'm stoked for this. Let's do this! Do this, shall we? There we go. There we go. We have to like hit him right in his little chest there. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Fight over. It's all about the weaknesses, baby. It's all about the weaknesses. Two stages left. Two! Two stages left. Although, oh jeez, I remember this part. I actually remember this part. This part sucks. 
I was really hoping this stage would be a boss rush, but no avail. Alright, unfortunately I don't need that energy tank. Oh shit. Alright, rush jet. Where are you at? Yeah, you just want to stay above all this. You know, this is this place is a mess. It's almost as much of an, a mess as the election. All right, this has got to be the capsule room. <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't know who's first, but bring it on. Who is this, Plant Man? No, Yamato Man. He is weak against the, don't tell me, the Silver Tomahawk. And I have no Mega Tank to, oh Jesus, really? No Mega Tank, so I can't restore my weapon energy. So I can't even use the, the Yamato Spear against the boss that's weak to it. Lame. Lame. I wish I hadn't used it now. That's what I get for like, actually using a special weapon. Get through the uh, level. I'm gonna go ahead and use an energy tank here. I usually decide to use an energy tank very early in the fight. Like before I even go into the fight, I, I generally know if I'm gonna use an energy tank or not. I'm like a woman going on a date, you know? It's like before the date even starts, I already know if I'm gonna sleep with the guy or not. And, and it's just true, okay? So don't, don't be all like, ooh, this is true. Women, they know. They know in, within the first eight seconds or so whether or not they're going to sleep with you. And this is, it's weird. I don't know how they know, but they, they just know. You know? I mean, me, I'm not, I mean, I'll be on a date and I'll be like, I don't know about this. You know, I'm not, not, too, not too keen on this girl yet. And this guy will not get off of me. Jesus Christ. Jesus, get off me, dude. I was not going to use an energy tank for that. Anyway, I'll be like, you know, this girl's cool, but I'm not real sure if I'm feeling her. You know, I'm just like, I don't know. She, maybe, maybe not. You know, I'm like on the fence right up until the end of the date, basically. So, like, whether or not I want to do anything with her. I'm on the fence. And, you know, if I do, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I totally want to get together with this girl. But then there are other times where I'm just like, eh. You know, I don't buy into this whole myth that, that dudes are just like, oh, yeah, whatever. Because we're really not. You know, we actually do have standards. For some reason, that's a joke to a lot of people. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it takes me a while to figure out if I'm, like, really interested or not. But women, you know, they know in a few seconds... Oh, yeah, I'll definitely sleep with this guy. Or, you know, oh, I'll definitely won't sleep with this guy. And if they make the decision that they won't, it's kind of mean because it's like... Anything the guy does or says from that point on, he's at a disadvantage. Like, you know, things still might go his way, but the odds are not in his favor. You know, he's fighting an uphill battle at that point. He's starting at negative 20 hit, hit points. And he's just like trying to, trying to, you know, restore his hit points from negative 20, as opposed to restoring them from like, you know, zero. So, anyway, just a little fun fact. Ooh! I wish I could fire a shot and have him land on it. There we go, that's good, that's good, that's good enough, I'll take it. I'll take it. Whew, I love these boss rushes so much. This is like my favorite part of, of these Mega Man games. So this guy is weak to the Night Crush! Clash! So we're gonna whip that out. And clash! Oh shit, he froze me. Alright, let's try that again. Clash! What the fuck? Stop freezing me, dude! Jeez. Clash! Clash! Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Clash! Every time I say clash, he freezes everything. What is the deal with this guy? You know, whatever. That fight could have been fun, but it wasn't. And I'm pissed. Who's next? Quindman. 
So for Wind Man, we're going to get out the Centaur Flash. And it's going to be the lamest fight ever, just like it was before. Look at this. Look how lame this is. <laughs> What's he even doing? He's like, he's like over there straining. <laughs> Why? Why is he straining? What's his deal? All right, well that fight's over, so another one's another one's out of the way. It was this Plant Man, right? No, Tomahawk Man. All these state, all these rooms look the same, so I don't know, I don't know who who it's gonna be. Okay, this guy's a little tougher. You gotta use the plant barrier and get in real close. You gotta get real close. There we go. Get in close. Oh shit! Energy tank time. Energy tank. Purple world. Energy tank. Yeah, I'm just going through these energy tanks like, uh, like Snoop Doggy Dog goes through joints. Okay, I'm just gonna use rapid fire. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Boom. Got him. Moving on. Two bosses left. One of them's gonna be Plant Man, and the other one's gonna be Blizzard Man. No, Flame Man. No, I already killed Flame Plant Man, didn't I? Yeah, I did kill Plant Man. He's annoying. So this one's uh, Flame Man, and then we're gonna have Blizzard Man. All right, so all I gotta do here is hit him with these tornadoes, um, which I have enough to do I have enough ammo that you can kill him with this. And then we have the ammo curse, of course. All right. Whew! So, the last one has to be a Blizzard Man. All right, Blizzard, yep, there's snow on the ground. Finally, one of these rooms has something, uh, you know, different about it, you know. So get out the flame blast. Prime blast. As Sean Connery would say, the flame blast. Come on, dude. Just stop, stop doing that annoying rolling attack. It's really obnoxious. Shit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> totally dodged him at the end there, huh? Alright, so now. Hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Okay, good. Phew, I was hoping that wouldn't be like a boss. I really need to get my weapon energy back. On the other hand, I don't know... I don't know what the final boss is weak against. Nintendo power is not really any help. Nintendo power is so... they're so witty though. Power is so witty though they actually show you in the screenshots what weapon to use on these bosses because if you really squint you can see like what color Mega Man is in these screenshots so even though they don't tell you it's like you can see it if you really look closely but the problem is I still can't tell you know the colors aren't really um, unique enough in this game to really tell apart anyway I do know that the final boss of this game is pretty tough and that it has very cool music. And unfortunately, that's all I know. Wait, man, why don't I just run past this guy? Okay, so there's nothing stopping me from running down. Hi. Oh, wait, I can't run by him. I can't run by This is lame. Oh, I take it. Where are my energy tanks at right now? Six. Could be better, but I think I'll be all right. all right. Here we go. The music for this final battle is awesome, by the way. The music for the final battle of Mega Man 7 is actually uh, better. But this is a close second as far as final battle themes in Mega Man Classic go.
Oh, so good, so good. How do I avoid this guy though? He's too big. I mean, there's gotta be a trick to it. Get really close, maybe? Yeah, that works. Actually works. Cool. Shit. I don't want to use an energy tank on this guy. Shit. All right. Fuck it. Energy tank, please. Oh, you you don't have to jump. Wait. I just hit him. You you don't have to jump to hurt this guy. All right. Great. Because I know I have to beat this guy in the challenges, and I don't have any energy tanks. Uh, for that one. So I was hoping I could beat him without using him. There's three forms. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Okay, so I mean, it's gonna suck without any energy tanks. So uh, this is the beat form, I take it. Go get him, beat. Go get him, boy. Wh why? Why, beat? Why aren't you doing anything? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, energy tank. Alright, beat is useless. I finally got beat in a Mega Man game. <laughs> He's useless. <laughs> Uh, what should I use? What should I use? Rush Jet. That's what I use. Great. This guy sucks. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this without using an energy tank. Wow. Just appear right on top of me, why don't you? This guy's like Bill Cosby. Alright, that was that was really terrible, I apologize. That was a terrible joke. Okay. Ugh. How the hell am I supposed to kill this guy? I guess just use tons of energy games, right? Jesus Christ. Tanks, I guess. I know that this guy has a weakness. I'm sure I'll look it up later before I take on the challenge, but uh, good news is I don't have to beat all the challenges. I just have to beat enough to unlock the boss rush, which is like the you know final boss challenge. I, I think I only have to beat like maybe 80% of them to unlock that one. So I can skip this challenge, which I'm sure I will at this point. Well, one energy tank left, which I will take with me into the afterlife. Because I certainly won't need it to defeat this buffoon. Bye bye. Alright. The greatest battle ever. <laughs> Alright, so. Mega Man 6 is concluded. Dr. Wily is captured. Mega Man looks very confused. I don't know what his deal is. Dr. Wily. I can't read that. Notorious Dr. Wily. Brought him to justice. Great. Sentenced to prison for his crimes. Dr. Wily now rules over a prison cell. The world is at peace, at least until next Tuesday. All right, so that's Mega Man 6. Thank you for joining me again. Um, to all four people who have watched these videos, I am sincerely grateful. 
and uh, tune in for whatever happens next. I don't know what yet, but we will find out together. Cool. So we got some bosses here. Great. So yeah, like and subscribe. I'm just gonna call it a day here. Um, you've seen these these credits, you know, these Mega Man credits. They're all kind of the same. So yeah. Ooh, we got like some some remix music there. So yeah, thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Pop that.